you already know what we're doing when we do this. And if you don't, what you are doing is pushing the pipes on electricity. And not only that, okay, because it's not just you doing one thing when you do something. Nevertheless, um, I wouldn't even start this video like this. It just came about, so here it is. So anyway, when you do this, and this need to be done, taste that massage, this is good. And by the way, I've been talking kind of real low in the latest videos, but it's a reason for that. Two different types of metal, right? Two different types, not the same, but two different types that connect in a manner that when applied in layers, side by side or stacked on stack, it becomes a thermal couple, meaning it produces heat on one side and coolness on the other. If heat is applied from the outside, it will cool down the inside. And also, uh, uh, re-engineering that thermal couple, it can produce energy. Once again, the Pharaoh's headdress was gold and black. Two different metals. Two different metals, okay? Two different metals. They have to be in disposition of each other in order to create a thermal couple. But you got to keep in mind that the thinner the cell, the faster the transfer. The thinner the cell, real thin, not this ain't even thin. We're talking about like, um, what is that stuff they say? Um, electroplated. We're talking about thin shit. The thinner the cell, right? The thinner the cell, the faster the uh, transfer, the energy transfer. You know, for real, for real. Simple. You know, when you're building batteries, you, you find that out. When you're building a, a house, you find that out because you got to lay brick by brick. Same thing with the pyramid. All right. And those bricks, what? Thin. But for the application, it was perfect. Now, listen. So, anyway, what am I saying with all that? I'm saying look again at certain things. A thermal couple is the only thing that you could be utilizing. Well, not only, but you can be utilizing by applying two different types of metals. Okay? And if you know that, or if you don't know that, it depends on if you lose an energy or you gain in it. Okay? Um, if you're trying to harness it, it's a way to look at it at that part. But it must all be looked at because that's what we're doing without, our, without no knowledge. Okay? And, um, and it's an intriguing study, and you will continue to go. All right now, what else I want to complete? Uh, it's much more on that. Um, once again, I should go get it for me.
you get these. These are piezoelectric electrics. I got a hundred of these for like uh, six dollars, seven dollars on eBay. Now, these. Look at this. This is a slight, small piece of quartz crystal, right? A small piece of quartz crystal on the back of a thin, very thin piece of brass. And by pushing on this, as you can look in other videos or anybody else's videos, that push this, it creates voltage, all right? Now that's the crystal. But look at this again, y'all. Kind of make me think again about the sun disk. Even behind the heads, the big disc that was displayed from the mental to the physical. Check this out. No, it was very, very interesting though. But understand this, the crystal applied to a piece of brass. Now, it could have been gold, it'd be a different frequency, but the crystal itself is going to emit a frequency. Because each crystal has a different frequency. Yes, the quartz uh, crystal in the, in, in the quartz watch spins, uh, it moves, um, I think they tried to say, um, 33 million times. And because of that, a second, 33 million times a second. As little as it is, it moves so fast you can't see it. So nevertheless, um, in order to keep the clocks working, the quartz crystal small up on a small tuning fork, all right? A small tuning fork. And by the way, um, these fingers here, these fingers here is where most of the energy of the chakra come out of. It can be here, it can be here, but as far as photonic energy, it comes from these two fingers. These two fingers. Look it up. Uh, um, um, some of the ones who do photography or uh, whatever, uh, aura photography, they stated too. You can, uh, these two fingers, especially this one, the middle finger, is, uh, has the ability to shoot out photons out of the body. When, when I guess when it's not like this maybe, or maybe like this, I believe I would say that the tendons need to be stretched out because the tendons is the lightning uh, wands as they project and how they're focused, you know, how they're focused. But nevertheless, this was interesting right here. Now, check this out once again, this is a green laser, all right? This is a green laser, it's a uh, full, I think it's 450 nanometers continuously in this beam you're supposed to have glasses on all right and um, because it can uh, they say it can burn out your retina all right it can burn out your retina these things also catch things on fire I would show you that but no need to show you that they all on the video completely so-called legal or legal so-called so anyway green energy upon a crystal now they say this is bad and you should have what's the name and beware of the scattered energy but see we absorb all energy you know once again the roots do survive in the, in the, in the, uh, in the microwave only due to scientific uh, biology biological basis right but see, and not only that they say it's not a lot of water in a roach so it don't get you know overheat that makes me think again for a minute melanin concept is uh, right and exact but nevertheless this is going to be scattered green uh, photon energy now going shooting through a crystal you should know if this is bad this got to be worse shooting it through this but anyway
never has nobody do this without glass. Okay, without no what's in glass. But this is the crystal. Right. Green photonic energy shot through. I think it's better to have a what they call that um, clear quartz because you see any all those beautiful discrepancies and stuff like that there you might be able to see some purple in there that's a hologram of this crystal It's not a place. I'm trying to. Uh, I'm, I've been coming across the um, energy waves like things are not places. There are no. Um, energy must be looked at as energy. So, alright, so anyway. Energy creates the matrix, or energy creates the computer. Now, if piezoelectric, if this makes all the energy it needs, as even why it looks like this, and it can be utilized to make more energy, or be utilized to create more sensory, or utilized to create more perception, or utilized to create more accurate abilities, this crystal is utilized to make more accurate computer technological abilities, technologies, anything, anything. This keeps the clock working right, quartz crystal. This makes high technology um, devices. This, this, your phone, the printers, the, um, the laser dot printers, uh, um, the dot matrix, the old dot matrix, uh, what's the name, in order to get that precise decision, um, the um, plasma cutters, the plasma torches that new machines, them CNC machines, that zzz, 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 like that, high precise precision is due to the calculation of the quartz crystal at a certain frequency. That's what that, that's what all that is. Is this. But this is unrefined because you got to be utilized in certain different manners. And they have to be applied in thin. The thinner the cell, or the layer, or the fabric, the faster the transfer of the information, or the energy, or the photon, or in any light spectrum. Green could be angular, that's what they say, right? Think, and they say, go green, think green. Ooh, come again. But I see um, we already reached 15 minutes, and I'll be back at y'all. Just, um, let that circulate in your mind. For higher understanding, you want to find it. Just look at all that, you know. I got a lot more, but I'm going to make some longer, right? It's not too much longer when I get the, uh, my proper capabilities back. But y'all do what you do. And I'll see y'all sometime.